And Alicia, what an inspiration you are. I just wanted to say, yeah, that it, that's amazing and brilliant to have a uh, then student to be involved in the authorship of the book. So thank you very much for um for having me here. And I, I guess like like the others have have all said, what an honor to be um asked to be an author in um this incredible textbook. And um so in 2021, I think it was, I got this email from somebody with a, a gmail address and it had a number in it as well and i read it and it said oh hi kylie uh we wondered if you'd like to be the author for a chapter in maze and i was i was sharing an office at that point and i said to my colleague in the office i said I just got this weird spam email asking me to be an author because you get loads of spam kind of asking to write for journals and things so i was like and i thought i'll oh, just it says it's it's Gail Johnson. I'll just Google who Gail Johnson is. And sure enough, Gail worked for the RCM. And so I was, um, I thought oh, I better reply. <laughs> but I couldn't quite believe that um that I'd been asked to be an author in this textbook, which I had had as a student midwife in New Zealand, um, which wasn't on the list of of countries that you shared before, but yes, it's used in in New Zealand and Australia, definitely. Um and so that that was the first shock to be asked, and I was the author of the um, the second stage of of birth, which again I thought, gosh, that's you know that's that's the moment of the birth of the baby. What an absolute honour and privilege! And I'd spent a lot of my career working um, in intrapartum settings, right across the kind of continuum of caring for women at home and and um, within hospital and birthing centres. And I suppose the next big shock was finding out that the previous author of the chapter was Sue Down, who I had um, very much admired and respected for a while and didn't actually know Sue then. I, I do know Sue now. So I was thought, gosh, that's um, some fairly big shoes to fill. However, I emailed Sue to say, been asked to to be the author of this chapter. And, and she was she was fab and said, you know, you know that's that's great and um you know you'll do a great job so that that was lovely to have to contact Sue so yeah it was a really it's a very interesting process as I think Lynn alluded to to be the author of a chapter that somebody has previously um written because the 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 framework of that chapter pretty much um remained the same because it it's the second stage it's not you know, it hasn't changed for centuries, really. But in terms of the evidence around how we care for women in the second stage, um, you know, that did need updating and and keeping some of the very seminal um, pieces that, you know, we, we still refer to, but updating in terms of some of the new evidence that's out there, um, particularly around positions um, that women might be in, care of the perineum. Uh, that crossed over with one of the other chapters so it was about yeah just just looking at all that evidence again and and updating the chapter and and trying to put a little bit I suppose of of my own um spin and, and feelings and thoughts into it as well um which I think is important when when you're a new chapter you're a new author for an existing chapter um, and we we had some images in my chapter which we did um change and um, the woman is upright in those, which I think is very important. And we did change some of the um, some of the images and and made them just slightly different, which was helpful. Um, yeah, the the seminars were really brilliant to be able to connect with the other authors, um, and and we we did really feel like we were part of of a big big family um, of people all kind of in it together. Um, working towards the final publication of of this amazing textbook, so it was a really fabulous experience, um, and I feel um, very honoured to be part of that. And and absolutely would encourage anybody that's that's asked or thinking about it to um, to definitely go for it. Mm. 